Hey, this is a Costway Twin Tub EP21684. It's supposed to have a, a 300 watts on the wash cycle and 110 watts on the spin cycle. And I just got this used. Basically got it for free, but I'm probably gonna give the guy 20 or 25 bucks since it seems to be working okay. And that's the front of it. And this is the wash tub. It holds about five gallons of water or a combination of clothes and water to equal five gallons. And this is the spin site, the spin tub. It only holds about half that amount. But of course, you're not really having to add a ton of water to the spin cycle. You do add some though. I need to clean the bottom of the spin. The, I did a test wash yesterday, so the wash tub got cleaned pretty good, but the spin needs to be cleaned. I didn't think about wiping it out before I did a spin, but it was something that I was gonna rewash anyhow. So we're going to try a test of it now for a few items. I'm also going to be testing out the Kilowatt P3. So it's a thing, basically like a, an electric meter that you can plug individual appliances into or uh, or a power strip into and plug in, in, in several appliances as long as they don't exceed 15 amps. So I'm going to test this thing to see how it's doing. So, the kilowatt meter showing I'm getting 114.9 volts out of this outlet, which is fine. Um, Amps are zero. Watts used are zero. Hertz are 60 Hertz. Kilowatt hours are zero. So that's where it should be to start this test. Okay, so I've got three black work shirts so far and I'm gonna add a couple of my dogs scrap sheets and maybe one more scrap sheet he's old and sick so he makes a mess so I put sheets down for him <laughs> It's easier to clean up. So, that's what we're going to have to start with. Okay, that's two gallons of water. I think I'm going to add one more gallon. Um, I already did this, but before starting, you want to put the two timers on zero. That's the left and the right knobs. And then the middle timer you want to put on normal. If I had it on drain, while I added that water in, it would have drained straight on out. So by having it on normal, that keeps the water from draining out. Okay, and so now i got three gallons of water in there. I'm going to do a six-minute cycle. do a pre-wash because these clothes are pretty dirty. Yeah, they were pretty dirty. So I'm going to drain it now before I add soap. Yeah, so when the timer goes down to zero, it does stop. So now I'm going to drain it to get that dirtiest of water out. And so far, the kilowatt 
is showing just for that little bitty bit showing that's kilowatt hours 11 minutes of kilowatt hours point I guess I need to check that while it's running so the kilowatt hours is the only thing showing 12 minutes yeah I got the three gallons of water in there and I added about a tablespoonful of detergent I think that's all it's gonna need it didn't need much the last time I did a batch and now we're gonna Give it a little bit more soap. Kilowatt meter is showing 16, 0, uh, 113 volts going to the machine, 1.7, 1.8, 1.6. So far, 100 and I mean 1.8 amps at 120 volts, so that's probably around 300 watts. There's the actual watts as it does its cycles. So far, it looks like about just a little over 200 watts at the most. see getting up to the 300 watts which is good Like it's actually turning the clothes too because there was a tan sheet going which still pops up once in a while but mostly disappears and then pops back up. The three black shirts that were the heaviest thing seem to be staying on the bottom. That water's pretty funky. Well, I know the black shirts are now coming to the top. But it does seem like it Probably if I'd have had more water, it would have turned it better. And the timer is almost out at the six minute mark. Okay, so it's down to zero. Now we put it on the drain. And 
the hose I got going to a French drain that I have down there, so it's draining into my French drain. So it's used 0.01 kilowatt hours on a six minute wash cycle. In 20 minutes total that it's been plugged in. Okay, so all the water is drained out, so now we're going to put it back on the wash, add a couple of gallons of water to this tank, and run it through another three to six minute cycle. This time I added four gallons of water to rinse it out better, and so we're going to give it six minutes again. Still so far only around 200 watts, not the 300 watts that it says on the label. Okay, I'm just going to do a three minute rinse cycle, so I'm only doing three minutes out of the six minutes. And then we're going to drain that. draining as you can hear. So total total kilowatt hours is still 0 0.01. Seven minutes going so far for this test. Okay, it's drained. So now we move the clothes over to this little spin tub. Okay, and those three shirts and three half sheets pretty much filled up that spin cycle. So now we... I didn't read the instructions. I guess I'll put it on normal and add the water and start the spinning and then uh, see how it does and then switch it to drain. Okay, I just added a gallon of water. Might need to add more, but we'll see. Close that, close that. Yeah, so you do have to put it on drain. Good. 
Maybe the lid has to stay closed during the spin cycle. Let's see how the kilowatts are doing. Looks like it's actually using more watts on that spin cycle than it did on that wash cycle. It's using 260 watts on the spin. I think the tag on it said it was supposed to use around 200. <coughs> Yeah, so that when you open up the spin lid, it does stop. And so now the, I, that first gallon was gone, and I added another gallon of water. It's not spinning as fast this time. That's weird. I'm going to add a third gallon of water. Oh, and once again, there are ways where you can hook up water and let some both the wash and the spin side. Oop, let's see. I don't want to go that dirt in there, so let's, this thing needs a good bath. Oh, that's why it was going so slow. There's so much water in it, because that last gallon I put in pretty much topped it off. Hmm, maybe that's what was wrong with this thing. It's not spinning dry properly. the water coming out of this. It's weird. Hmm. Uh-oh. Maybe I won't be paying anything for this if it doesn't spin dry. <laughs> Put it up to five minutes to see if that makes a difference. Well, some of the water's out. Well, let's, maybe it spins faster when there ain't that much water. Let's see. Drain. I wonder if I have too much clothes in there. I'm 
taken two of the shirts out. And see if it does better. It is spinning faster, but still not. It was really hauling butt the first time I put it on the spin. Still using 250 watts, even though it's barely spinning. I mean, it's spinning, but it's not hauling butt like it was doing the first time. There's still water down in there. That should have all drained out. This is weird. So it's still got water down in the bottom. It's not draining. Damn. I was hoping this used thing was going to be good. Okay, well now it's going faster. No, it slowed back down. So it could be if there's a belt. I'm going to have to look up underneath it and see if there's a belt going from the motor to the spin thing that's slipping. But it still should have drained. It says if you don't if you switch if you don't switch that from normal to drain, that whatever you do it'll just drain right out. But it's still not getting all the... There's still water down in the bottom of that. Damn. Alright, let's try... something. Okay, I just added... two gallons of water. First gallon seemed to go, and the second gallon was up to that dot on the back row there, right above the water line, or the hole right above the water line. It seems to be draining slow. Let's try spinning it and see. Nope, still not spinning as fast. Still not, still not spinning right. Tried all sorts of things. Still pulling 230 watts. I was only supposed to pull around 210. In comparison, we're going to run a regular washing machine just on a rinse cycle. 
just to see what the difference is here. <laughs> Yeah, these clothes are pretty wet. The one I did yesterday came out really dry. On a low cycle. Yeah, these are soaked. There's still a ton of water in there. Not a ton, but a lot. Oh shit. What's that for my kilowatt meter? <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to have to check the belt and stuff. Alright, so now on the regular washing machine plugged into the kilowatt meter. It's showing Seven point eight watts. Well, it's filling up. And we're going to speed this along. Still 7.8 watts during the fill cycle of the washing machine. Now it's starting to actually spin. Oops, still using close to 800 watts. Not agitating, just spinning. Wow, I didn't realize it used that much. <laughs> All right, so I'm wrapping up this video right here because this used machine was a fail unfortunately so it might just need belt tightened or something like that i'll check that out tomorrow since it's sun's going down quick here Oops. <laughs> Just remember I had that little plastic thing in there, but wasn't causing no issues. So there's the washing machine motor going back and forth. Working just fine. Yeah, it looks like it's spinning pretty good with no clothes and no water. So I'm not sure. I have to put some pictures on a appliance repair website. 
So it looks like the bottom comes off with a bunch of screws holding the bottom to the tub. And then of course there's screws and nuts and bolts holding the motors to the bottom. So it looks like it can be taken apart pretty easily. The four screws are pulled out while they were rusted heads. I'm gonna, the rest of the screws, most of them look like they're in pretty good shape. Although I'm gonna pull them and see if they're the same size. Now the screw holding the bottom to the sides is a little bit longer. It looks like a three quarter inch. And the four screws holding this white panel on the back look like little half inch screws so I'm going to replace those. These other screws aren't in bad shape. I might, might get some anyhow, some galvanized ones.